What's up, guys? It's Gardy B with the Jenkins and Jones show. As always, I'm here with my good internet buddies, Dragonfly Jones, a.k.a. Tyler. What's up, guys? With Jethro Jenkins, a.k.a. John. What's up, Bubba's? And if you fuck with us, you want to see more of our content, please jump on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. What's your sort of first thoughts and, and takeaways from the list? Yeah, um, you know, it's it, there was just a handful of guys I was really rooting for here, right? Like, I wanted Mello to make the list. You know, Mello was on the fringes, I, I feel like. Um, I wanted Russ to make the list. I feel like Russ was a shoe, and I wanted AI to make the list. I, want, I felt like AI was a shoe, too. And I wanted them to make shit right with Neek. So I got all that, bro. And, like, people are saying, you know, Dwight was was the biggest snub here. I, I, I'm inclined to agree. You know, Dwight has a hell of a case. Because say he's the best center of his era, best rim de defender of his era, you know, arguably, you know, one of the best defenders of his era. But I ain't arguing for Dwight Howard, dog. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to die on the Dwight Howard hill, man. He got snubbed. Big fucking deal. Okay, life goes on. And I think that's why I got snubbed, because nobody's really going to argue for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, I mean, if we look at it, like, the 80, Dame, they're, like, like 70, one of the 75th best players in the world to ever touch a basketball. But a lot of it's accomplishments, because George Mikan is not one of the 75th best players ever touch a fucking basketball. You know what I mean? A lot of these old niggas that played, you know, and, and got numbers due to racism, and niggas couldn't be on the fucking squad and shit like that. You know what I mean? So, I, I Well, they I, were I the only I, people I, jumping. Right, right, right. Like, the, the dude jumped <laughs> like the shit we've been reading about it, Marcus's book. Right. He should, right, exactly. You know what I mean? But I mean, I, I'd go, I'd go with Dwight. I'd go with Kyrie over. You know what I'm saying? Dame and 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 and, and AD, if personally. But I don't you know. I mean, Kyrie, it, you you you'd put Kyrie over those two. I put Kyrie over Dame. I mean, Kyrie has a chip, and he had the big biggest. And he and he's been cooking for a long time. Kyrie's been cooking for a long fucking time, dog. You know what I mean? I'd put him top seventy five for sure, personally. I mean, I would, I, if it's me, I'm getting keeping both of them in there. I'm getting Koozie and Mike and all them niggas out of there. You know what I'm saying? But like, <laughs> yeah. we're keeping it a stack. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, I mean, I feel like, I feel like they're top 75. I do. You know what I mean? I felt like the list itself was somewhat unseasoned. They they could have put the spice in this shit by actually reevaluating the whole, yeah. like taking all, all, old people right. off the list and doing yeah, get, a full getting, reevaluation. Getting fucking Dave DeBusher out of here and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we need to overhaul, dog. This, the game I, has I thought, changed tremendously. I thought that's what they were going to do. And so when they said, when it came out, it's like, okay, it's just they're leaving the the old stuff intact without reevaluating. Well, what's the point of doing it then? It's not an NBA 75. It's an NBA 50 update. Plus 25. Plus 26. Is it, it's, it's the NBA is? 50 part two is what right, it is. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, it's like right. the whole point, I would think, is to look from 2021 at the 75 years in the history of the league and reevaluate who's your top 75 dudes. And I understand there's recency bias. Um, you know, people don't know the, the history as well. But that's the point. Like, that's the point is that you reevaluate that shit and figure out. That's what everyone who talks about basketball does. No one says... Like, there's never been a basketball argument in history where someone said, well, Michael Jordan was considered the GOAT, so he is still considered the GOAT. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's not, it's all reevaluation and considering things in today's context. Like, that, that, that's the only point, in my opinion, of doing the list. I mean, I, I, I don't know. To a degree, it feels like it's not the best 75. It's the most accomplished. You know what I mean? And, you know, that's, that's why I say AD and Dame. You know, until are, you leave Dwight Howard and Kyrie yeah, that, off that's, the that's, list, that's, you know. Yeah, so that's I mean, the, the only way you can defend having like these old heads on there is their accomplishments, right? Because they're not good basketball players, objectively bad. By actually, by you know by, what I'm saying? by today's standards, you cannot make the argument to me. And I they understand they're playing basketball. To history. They were you can't even call that shit basketball when a nigga is excited because <laughs> somebody jumped while shooting. That's not hoops. You feel what I'm saying? So and like, only white people are allowed to play. And it's only it's exactly. 40 players That's, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You, you, that, that context is racist, important. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah, I mean, so yeah, we have to take that into account when why did they win all these fucking chips? You know what I'm saying? Like, so like, but I mean, if, you, if you're going to have these guys in there because of their accomplishments, Dwight should be in there too. You know what I mean? Like, and I think Kyrie too. You know what I, 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 I yeah, it's exactly what you said, though. Like, these lists are put together by people. And as, as we talk, like, we talk about it on the pod all the time. Life's not fair. Like who's in, who's on your side? How likable are you? People have to argue for Dwight Howard to get on the list, and nobody's arguing for Dwight Howard. Nobody, this. nobody. No. No. And Even I mean, also Kyrie. Nobody's arguing for Kyrie unless you hoop. Like you said, like I, I you said you love Kyrie's. Game. I love Kyrie's game. I think he's one of the best point guards I've ever seen in my motherfucking life. You for know sure. what I'm saying? But nobody's arguing in those rooms for Kyrie to get on those lists on that list. This is not gonna happen. 
Yeah, I think that's absolutely right. And even when you saw people bringing up Dwight, it was all like blue checks and sports writers. I didn't see, Mm -hmm. uh, with the exception of a couple Lakers fans who liked his redemption arc that I follow, I didn't really see a lot of basketball fans upset that Dwight Howard got Nobody's (laughs) upset. We're just like, it's wrong. Right. Like nobody's yeah. actually upset and you need people to be upset. You know what I mean? To get You're these right. things fit. You know what I mean? To make these yeah. happen. So I, yeah, we're just like, you know, damn shame how they did Dwight. Um, anyway, let me go hit the right, right, right. right quick. Tyler just shit on KD today. They actually switched <laughs> from that to that on fucking sports <laughs> on, on, on sports news stations. You know what the I mean? thing with the snubs that I always find interesting is like if he was a snub, who would you take off the list to replace him with? And so I'm gonna read you guys the 26 players that were added. And you tell me if there's anyone you would remove for Dwight Howard, okay? This is an alphabetical order. Ray Allen, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Carmelo Anthony, Kobe Bryant, Stephen Curry, Anthony Davis, Tim Duncan, Kevin Durant, Kevin Garnett, James Harden, Allen Iverson, LeBron, Jason Kidd, Kawhi Leonard, Dame, Bob McAdoo, Reggie Miller, Steve Nash, Dirk, Chris Paul, Gary Payton, Paul Pierce, Dennis Rodman, Dwayne Wade, Russell Westbrook and Dominique Wilkins, Reggie Miller, no brainer Are you, for me. Uh, no brainer for me. Hell yeah, if Reggie, John. John, right now, if, you, if 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 we're we're building basketball teams in the other, you know, the the other verse or whatever the fuck, you don't take Kyrie over. Oh, you over Ky- oh, oh, for oh, for sure. No, 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 no doubt, no doubt for sure. You know, I, I, I thought we we're talking about Dwight, though, right? Yeah, I think we're talking about Dwight. Oh, okay, yeah. sure, 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 sure. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I, 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 I just I, say AD's a better basketball player than Dwight, right? But we're looking like straight accomplishments and what has been done in the fucking career. We can't just look at this guy looks really good to me. You know what I mean? Like we can't just go off of that. You know what I mean? So like that's what I'm saying. Dwight would be going instead of AD. If I'm looking at just straight hooping, come on, nigga. You know, but th- <laughs> but it's just not about that because there's motherfuckers in there that you know they, they couldn't jump when they shot. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. That's why Dwight deserves to be in there. That's why I say Kyrie as well, even though I think. Dame is great and deserves to be in top 75 as far as just hooping ability and the same with AD. I love but it's not based Dame, off that alone. D- Dame's been one of my, you know, top couple five favorite players in the league for quite some Dame. time. But there's no doubt that's a heart pick. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like I like, think so? I, like, I, I think I think I, I think when we look back on this era of basketball, we're gonna look back on this era as the golden age of point guards, right? And I think Dame is. It's top two, probably behind Steph. Top three, if you want to throw CP three over. He's been over, top two him, for like two the- years. You know what I mean? Like Kyrie was up there prior before that for a like the decade prior. You know what I'm saying for a big part of that. I'm it talking him, about it Dwight. was him. And, I'm, I'm talking yeah, about Dwight. We're talking about uh, Ky- uh, as, as but, far as but, we're talking about Damon. Uh, you think you think you think he should come off for Dwight? I, I I agree with Tyler's point exactly, but we're still in the era of the the golden era of the point guard. And so to me, Dame someone where I would look at and say, I absolutely think by the end of his career, he gets that point. But if you look at the career accomplishments right now of Dwight and Dame, that to me is, the, as Not Jackson even. said, you have to take someone off. You put those resumes next to each other, and Not I honestly close. don't, I don't know what the argument is to put Dame on over Dwight personally. And if we look I mean, at I mean, and, go ahead, go ahead. And, and go ahead. As, as much as I love Melo too, you can make the case that you can boot Melo for Dwight too. Also, if we're going off resume, yeah. yeah. But I mean, if, if if you look at Dame, like we've been talking, to, I mean, Dame has been up like top two for like two years, right? I think in 2019, 2018, we're talking about Kyrie and Steph. You know what I'm saying? Dame has recently got into that space for like the last couple of years. So I mean, he's a great fucking player. But like, how, how long has Kyrie been in that conversation? You know what I mean? And he has a chip, and the moment he had in Game Seven, come on. You know what I mean? And, uh, and, and all those injuries and, and all those injuries where he can't stay in the conversation too. We I mean we need to evaluate I mean, that I don't also. Think that, I mean I mean but I mean with those injuries he still did what the fuck he did. You can't take away what he did while on the court. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what we got to talk about. When we could I mean like that that's a, the thing with the thing with like, you know, Grant and all that is because they didn't have a chance. The injuries prevented them from doing the things they could do on the court. That hasn't prevented Kyrie. He's come back and still cook. You know what I'm saying? KD missed a whole ass motherfucking year, came back and was K and was capital KD. <laughs> on, on, the, on, on the motherfucking court. Right. Not, not yeah. in the tweets. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, <laughs> not at least in Tyler's bitches. But yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So like, we can't just, you know, that we gotta, what what have they done on the court? And what Kyrie's on the court in his career has been better than what Dame's on the court in his career. And, and is there really an argument there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying this as a nigga that loves 
Dame. I love all these niggas except for right. Dwight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I give a fuck about Dwight. And I think all that goodwill he got in uh, 2020, I think he's going to fuck all that up this year. You feel me? If I'm keeping it a stack of Roni, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think he deserves to be top 25. I'm talking about who deserves, you know what I mean? But yeah, wait, I, think- I want to ask y'all a question though. Who do y'all think the young bucks that are playing now are going to be that are getting to that, into the like the, the top 100? They already put Giannis on there, right? So, which yeah. I love. They're like, I'm, yeah, he's good. Giannis ain't a young <laughs> buck. That's a, hey, that's a god that's in a, a young man's man. body. You know what I mean? Yeah, you feel me? Um, what, what, ja, ja, ja has been ridiculous to start this season. I think I think, I think, ja. I think he makes it. Luca, yeah. Trey. Luka, I think Luka, those three. Luka, Trey. Yeah. yeah. I think those yeah, three. But fucking Tatum. But, Tatum. Maybe Jalen too. I think Tatum too. Yeah. I think Jalen top 100? He's been hooping, hooping this season. I mean, he's a, I mean, he's an animal. He's an animal. Yeah. But wow, that's crazy. That's interesting. That's interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. But ja, I think Jaws a dude. Like Jalen is actually more of a woo. But like Jaws a guy that I think will probably squeak in that we didn't see coming. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I think he's right. gonna be there. I think he, I think he got everything it takes to be a top 100 motherfucker. You feel me? Yeah, it's it, it's it's like you know during that draft it was like of course you take Zion that's a no brainer and now right, right. it's kind of like ah, but also know. take job but I don't know he looks good but we'll see yeah. you we'll know see, what I mean we'll see. And, but he's been better you know what I mean yeah. but he's been better yeah. you know what I mean like we we trade we expect to trade to be this you know what I mean yeah some people expected Luca I didn't see it because I ain't see Luca play you know what I mean mm-hmm. but like Ja was like wow nigga you really like that you really right. that dude you know what I'm saying. You really him. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you really him. <laughs> you really him. 